What is Splunk tool? Splunk is a powerful platform for searching, analyzing, monitoring, visualizing and reporting of your enterprise data. It acquires important machine data and then converts it into powerful operational intelligence by giving real-time insight to your data using alerts, dashboards and charts etc. Explain the working of Splunk. Splunk works into three phases dash. First phase, it gathers data to solve your query from many sources as required. Second phase, it converts that data into results that can solve your query. Third phase, it displays the information, answers via a chart, report or graph, which is understood by large audiences. What are the components of Splunk? Splunk has two types of Splunk forwarder which are as follows. Universal forwarders, it performs processing on the incoming data before forwarding it to the indexer. Heavy forwarders, it parses the data before forwarding them to the indexer works as an intermediate forwarder. Remote collector. What are the types of Splunk forwarder? An alert is an action that a saved search triggers on regular intervals set over a time range, based on the results of the search. When the alerts are triggered, various actions occur consequently. For instance, sending an email when a search to the predefined list of people is triggered. Three types of alerts. Pre-result alerts, most commonly used alert type and runs in real time for an all-time span. These alerts are designed such that whenever a search returns a result, they are triggered. Scheduled alerts, the second most common scheduled results are set up to evaluate the results of a historical search result running over a set time range on a regular schedule. You can define a time range, schedule and a trigger condition to an alert. Rolling window alerts, these are the hybrid of pre-result and scheduled alerts. Similar to the former. These are based on real-time search but do not trigger each time the search returns a matching result. It examines all events in real-time mapping within the rolling window and triggers the time that specific condition by that event and the window is met, like the scheduled alert is triggered on a scheduled search. What are alerts in Splunk? An alert is an action that a saved search triggers on regular intervals set over a time range, based on the results of the search. When the alerts are triggered, Various actions occur consequently. For instance, sending an email when a search to the predefined list of people is triggered. Three types of alerts. Pre-result alerts, most commonly used alert type and runs in real time for an all-time span. These alerts are designed such that whenever a search returns a result, they are triggered. Scheduled alerts. The second most common scheduled results are set up to evaluate the results of a historical search result running over a set time range on a regular schedule. You can define a time range, schedule and a trigger condition to an alert. Rolling window alerts, these are the hybrid of pre-result and scheduled alerts. Similar to the former, these are based on real-time search but do not trigger each time the search returns a matching result. It examines all events in real-time mapping within the rolling window and triggers the time that specific condition by that event and the window is met, like the scheduled alert is triggered on a scheduled search. What are the categories of SPL commands? SPL commands are divided into five categories. Sorting results, ordering results and, optionally, limiting the number of results. Filtering results, it takes a set of events or results and filters them into a smaller set of results. Grouping results, grouping events so you can see patterns. Filtering, modifying and adding fields, taking search results and generating a summary for reporting. Reporting results, filtering out some fields to focus on the ones you need, or modifying or adding fields to enrich your results or events. Hadoop. Splunk. Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. 
Splunk collects, visualizes, and analyzes the data and passes it to Hadoop for ETL and other batch processing. What are Splunk buckets? Explain the bucket life cycle. A directory that contains indexed data is known as a Splunk bucket. It also contains events of a certain period. Bucket life cycle includes following stages. Hot, it contains newly indexed data and is open for writing. For each index, there are one or more hot buckets available. Warm, data rolled from hot. Cold, data rolled from warm. Frozen, data rolled from cold. The indexer deletes frozen data by default but users can also archive it. Thought, data restored from an archive. If you archive frozen data, you can later return it to the index by thawing, defrosting. It what is a vol command? It evaluates an expression and consigns the resulting value into a destination field. If the destination field matches with an already existing field name, the existing field is overwritten with the eval expression. This command evaluates Boolean, mathematical and string expressions. Using the vol command. Convert values. Round values. Perform calculations. User conditional statements. Format values. What is lookup command and its use case? The lookup command adds fields based while looking at the value in an event, referencing a lookup table, and adding the fields and matching rows in the lookup table to your event. Example. What is input lookup command? Input lookup command returns the whole lookup table as search results. For example, vertical bar in putlookup and telepadlookup returns a search result for every row in the table in telepadlookup which has two field values. Host. Machine underscore type. What commands are included in filtering results category? Where, evaluates an expression for filtering results. If the evaluation is successful and the result is true, the result is retained, otherwise, the result is discarded. Need up removes subsequent results that match specified criteria. Head, returns the first count and results. Using head permits a search to stop retrieving events from disk when it finds the desired number of results. Tail, unlike head command, this returns the last results. What commands are included in reporting results category? Top, finds most frequent tuple of values of all fields in the field list along with the count in percentage. Rare finds least frequent tuple of values of all fields in the field list. Stats, calculates aggregate statistics over a dataset. Chart, creates tabular data output suitable for charting. Timecart, creates a time series chart with corresponding table of statistics. What commands are included in grouping results category? Transaction, groups events that meet different constraints into transactions, where transactions are the collections of events possibly from multiple sources. Explain the difference between search head pooling and search head clustering. Search head pooling is a group of connected servers that are used to share load, configuration and user data whereas search head clustering is a group of Splunk enterprise search heads used to serve as a central resource for searching. Since the search head cluster supports member interchangeability, the same searches and dashboards can be run and viewed from any member of the cluster. Explain the function of Alert Manager. Alert Manager displays the list of most recently fired alerts, that is alert instances. It provides a link to view the search results from that triggered alert. It also displays the alert's name, app, type, scheduled, real-time, or rolling window, severity and mode. What is SOS? SOS stands for Splunk on Splunk. It is a Splunk app that provides graphical view of your Splunk environment performance and issues. It has following purposes. Diagnostic tool to analyze and troubleshoot problems. Examine Splunk environment performance. Solve indexing performance issues. Observe scheduler activities and issues. See the details of scheduler and user-driven search activity. Search, view and compare configuration files of Splunk. What is Splunk DB Connect? It is a general SQL database plugin that permits you to easily combine database information with Splunk queries and reports. It provides reliable, 
scalable and real-time integration between Splunk Enterprise and relational databases. What is the difference between Splunk App Framework and Splunk SDKs? Splunk App Framework resides within Splunk's web server and permits you to customize the Splunk Web UI that comes with the product and develop Splunk apps using the Splunk Web server. It is an important part of the features and functionalities of Splunk software, which does not license users to modify anything in the Splunk software. Splunk SDKs are designed to allow you to develop applications from the ground up and not require Splunk Web or any components from the Splunk app framework. These are separately licensed to you from the Splunk software and do not alter the Splunk software. What is Splunk Indexer and explain its stages? The Indexer is a Splunk Enterprise component that creates and manages indexes. The main functions of an indexer are Indexing incoming data Searching index data. Splunk Indexer has following stages. Input. Splunk Enterprise acquires the raw data from various input sources and breaks it into 64K blocks and assign them some metadata keys. These keys include host, source and source type of the data. Parsing, also known as event processing. During this stage, the enterprise analyzes and transforms the data, breaks data into streams, identifies, parses and sets timestamps, performs metadata annotation and transformation of data. Indexing, in this phase, the parsed events are written on the disk index including both compressed data and the associated index files. Searching, the search function plays a major role during this phase as it handles all searching aspects, interactive, scheduled searches, reports, dashboards, alerts, on the index data and stores saved searches, Events, field extractions and views. List. Conference files by priority. File precedence in Splunk is as follows. System local directory, top priority. App local directories. App default directories. System default directory, lowest priority. How to reset Splunk admin password. To reset password, follow these steps. Log in to server on which Splunk is installed. Rename password file at dollar Splunk home backslash etc backslash past. Restart Splunk. After restart, you can log in using default username, admin password, change you. State the difference between stats and event stats commands. Stats, this command produces summary statistics of all existing fields in your search results and store them as values in new fields. Event stats. It is same as stats command except that aggregation results are added in order to every event and only if the aggregation is applicable to that event. It computes the requested statistics similar to stats but aggregates them to the original raw data.